Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com talking options, preferences in Studio One under the Locations panel. We talked about user data in the last video. The rest of this stuff I never mess with, but the VST plugin one is good to know where it is. Uh, if you use, if you have plugins installed on your computer, chances are Studio One already found them and it, they're already loaded up inside your DAW. So inside the mix window, all your plugins that you currently own and are installed on your computer should be there. But let's say um, you had an updated one and when you first opened Studio One, it scanned for all your plugins and it saw that this particular plugin wasn't compatible, wasn't working. Uh, it'll blacklist that plugin. So it won't try to load it up every time and tell you about it. It'll just say, this doesn't work. You say, okay. And then every time you open Studio One after that, it's not going to keep trying to address that issue. Well, let's say you address the issue, you update the plugin, and now you want it to be recognized by Studio One again. Uh, what you can do is reset the blacklist and make sure you have stand, scan at startup engaged, which means it's going to scan for your plugins every time you open. Okay, so first, if you install a new set of plugins and you don't have scan at startup engaged, then when you start up Studio One the next time, it's not going to look for new plugins. It's not going to know. Uh, you have to come in here and manually tell it to scan for those. So instead of doing that and make your life a little easier, have this selected. So every time you get a new plugin, you install it. Uh, as soon as you start Studio One, it looks for it and makes sure it's working. Now, if you had a broken plugin, again, clicking this reset blacklist, I believe will have Studio One scan for it again next time it opens up, and hopefully it'll work wonderfully. Also, if you have your plugins installed in various locations, or it's not in the standard place, or Studio One couldn't find it, then yeah, you can uh, go add or remove locations for it to find your plugins as well. Okay, that's just a handy little place to know where to find it, especially if you can't find your plugins. That should help.